just in, in honor of, of the spirit of, of this, uh, f the fake news award, we had one made. Can I have it, Kevin? Oh. Thank you. We're big time here at SC Cup Unfiltered, and so we made this award. It is the fake news award. It is awarded to one Donald, Donald J. Trump. You deserved it, buddy. Enjoy it. <laughs> okay, when we come back. President Trump once again went on a Twitter tear against his favorite punching bag this morning, the press. President must have been feeling frisky because he got a little creative with his insult, tweeting, we should have a contest as to which of the networks plus CNN and not including Fox is the most dishonest, corrupt, and or distorted in its political coverage of your favorite president, parentheses me. They are all bad, winner to receive the fake news trophy. Okay, there is a lot to unpack there and we will. But first, I think it's important to point out to the president that the results of that contest are in and you've already won. Just over the past 48 hours, the unchallenged king of fake newsery proved he's earned the title. Like on Saturday, when the president tweeted out a link to magapill.com, a website which also promotes theories about false flag terrorism and conspiracies that include Satan worships, mm -hmm. worshipers and the Knights Temple. That was some grade A award-winning BS right there. And then there was the news out of Vanity Fair that he's now claiming the Access Hollywood tape is a fake. Mr. President, you do remember that was the tape where you told Billy Bush that you can grab women by the you know what because you are famous, remember? You later called it locker room talk and you apologized for it. Okay guys, uh, let's start with the obvious here, which is that Trump has lied a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, this is has nothing to do with a bias. These are just facts. I'll go through just a few, uh, claiming he's proposed the biggest tax cuts in US history. They will actually be the eighth biggest, not even not even the second or third. Claimed we haven't lowered taxes since Ronald Reagan. Actually, George W. Bush passed a major tax cut. Claimed to watch Muslims in Jersey City. Cheer on 9-11. That never happened. Claimed he won the most electoral college vote since Reagan. Also not true. Implied Ted Cruz's father was with Lee Harvey Oswald before the JFK assassination. I mean, some of it's absurd, right. absurd lies. And some of it is just very provo easily proved uh, false uh, and, and inaccurate. Is Donald Trump the, the face, the best face of let's keep him honest against fake news? Of course not. It's My like God, is, is he, question. he's unaware. Uh, totally unaware. He doesn't see the irony nope. of challenging us to find the fakest news, even though he is, he's, okay, I just yeah. wanted to make sure. I just wanted to make you sure. You are based the, in reality. What's the Costanza quote we love? It's, it's not a lie if you believe it. Yeah. That's Donald Trump. Um, more worrying there. Can we go back? Can we just go back to the tweet for a second? Because this thing is a thing of beauty. Uh, first, first, uh, I, I want to unravel it like it's like a, it's a Christmas present. I want to just unpack it and open it slowly. Uh, we should have a contest as to which of the networks plus CNN and not including Fox. <laughs> Let's stop right there. I think it is amazing that President Trump thinks that stating outright that Fox News carries his water is a good look for either right. of them. Like, he should pretend at least that like, Fox News can be in the running. Sure, they're all, they're all equal to me. Shouldn't he want at least the perception that his relationship with Fox News is organic and natural and just because they see eye to eye on so well, many things and not bought and paid for? Forget what he thinks. The people who should be the most embarrassed by this are the ones at Fox News. Well, and I suspect a solid handful of them are. The press is not like on one hand. The press, yes, the press is not supposed to be on the side of people in power ever. The press yeah. is supposed to be adversarial. The press is supposed to question. The press is not supposed to curry favor with authority. A lot of people in the media kind of forgot that during the Obama administration. Yes, they did. Uh, and that was pathetic. And it's and now pathetic other people now yes. for yeah. for the media people who are who are kissing Trump's butt. The president should never like a media outlet in the sense that he knows right. he's always going to get favorable coverage for it. A president should respect that media outlets are doing their job or at least respect that they have an important job to do. He should never view a media outlet as being on his side. And the whole thing is sad, and Fox News should disavow it, but it kind of can't because with a couple of exceptions, they have backed themselves into this corner and they're now the, they're the Trump News Network. Totally. And that's, and that's their lifeblood. And even to the chagrin of some of the news reporters Absolutely. there, like Brett Baer yeah, and Chris yeah, Wallace. Smith. Jeb Smith. Yeah. I mean, they have openly now complained yeah. about some of that. And yet, 
I don't think anything is yeah, going to change. Yeah, like, I, I agree with you. I mean, look, Trump, this is ridiculous. The tweet's ridiculous on a lot of different levels. Also, he didn't need to add CNN if he was just saying all that. He didn't need to plus that. But no, but anyway, plus but CNN, it's, but not Fox. But, and look, <laughs> and obviously Trump, all these things that he said are, that are not true are, are obviously all lies. But I, I do think, like, look, there's a reason why Trump has been so successful. I mean, the centerpiece of his campaign above anything else was how dishonest the media yes. was. And I do think if you look at the three issues aside from that that he ran on that were really about immigration, mm -hmm. trade, and wars, mm -hmm. I think there's a big feeling that permeates the American people that that all of these things have not been good for the American middle class and that there hasn't been real critical coverage of this. Mm -hmm. And as you indicated, Andy, when Obama was in office, it seemed to be nothing but a cheerleading fest for him. So yeah. now, yeah. when the media goes after him for this stuff, people don't believe them. But and you know, that's where we're at. I think that view, and I don't disagree that that's how the president sees the world, it flows through, though, into not just attacking the media, which I find detestable, but it also flows into policy yes. and politics. He's kind of looking at Roy Moore in the same way lens. Anything that's a fact doesn't have to be a fact. Anything that's a truism, I can disregard and spin in a different way. And that is equally as dangerous, if not worse, than attacking the media. Yeah, and it is dangerous. Way, well, this isn't about hurt feelings, Charles, right? This is, no. I mean, this is dangerous to sow this kind of distrust, both at home and abroad, because he took on CNN International as well. I'm actually not so worried about him attacking the press. He has the First Amendment, as everyone else does, and he criticizes the media all the time, so be it. What worries me far, far more, and I agree with you on this, is the lying. Because yep. it's not just lying about big things. It's the lying about the small things. And maybe that sounds strange, but he does it when he doesn't have to. Right. He does it just for the sake of it. Yes, for, um, for the fun. For sport. For, ha for a habit, perhaps. Yeah. Um, and, and so, you know, the, the press will survive. Um, well, yeah. this is really interesting just as a, just as a sort of... Um, asterisk on this, uh, former chief uh, White House ethics lawyer uh, under Obama, Norm Eisen, tweeted this. It might be dangerous for Trump to be doing this kind of stuff, too. He said, dear dodo in chief, <laughs> you realize that this tweet is going to be an exhibit against you in the DOJ Time Warner antitrust case, right? It also smacks of collusion since you did it on a day when Vlad cracked down on U.S. networks. For that reason, it may open you to other civil liabil liability. Good night. So the DOJ is trying to block Mm. A sale of CNN to uh, AT and T. Mm. This absolutely will bolster a case. The, the you know they are being sued back for for right. stopping this. That this is stupid. And we have precedent with that with Trump already. His statements from the campaign yes. being brought up as evidence and and, and part of the law. Outrageous. But yes. but nonetheless, he's. Oh, I disagree. But he's brought himself into this. He should have somebody checking him, saying, oh, "You've done this before. Yes. Don't do it again." It was critical in bringing stopping the travel ban. But, but and he's doing it again. He would rather, I think, lose whatever policy he's trying to put right. forward if he can rail at will without anybody telling him not to. I think he thinks his job is to fight this cultural battle yeah, rather yeah, than absolutely. to change regular I agree. Well, um, just in, in honor of, of the spirit of, of this, uh, f the fake news award, we had one made. Can I have it, Kevin? Thank you. We're big time here at SC Cup Unfiltered, and so we made this award. It is the fake news award. It is awarded to one Donald Trump. Donald J. Trump. You deserved it, buddy. Enjoy it. <laughs> okay, when we come back, the president may have just insulted a group of World War II heroes with one word.